What is going on everybody? Welcome to another edition of Old School RuneScape's Luckiest Players. In this video, we are checking out our low KC drops, awesome clue scrolls, PVM and skilling pets, collection logs, all of the above. If you think you have something that you can contribute to one of these videos and it is good enough to get featured, send it to the email address on the screen right now. Down in the description of this video is a full set of instructions. Send it according to those instructions to make sure that I see it. Please make sure the RuneScape name is fully visible in your submission, otherwise it will be automatically disqualified. Good luck guys, I hope to see your submissions in the next video. Today's video is sponsored by Ewin Racing. Ewin Racing makes amazing quality gaming chairs and desks. Not only are they amazing quality, but they are also incredibly affordable for the average person. Ewin Racing products are made with durable aluminum frame constructions for both the seats and the desks. The seats feature high quality memory foam as well as beautiful upholstery with great color schemes. Ewin Racing has different model chairs available for every person with different weight ratings and different height ratings. So no matter the kind of person you are, you can find a chair that is going to be most comfortable for you. If you are interested in grabbing yourself an Ewin Racing gaming chair or desk, or maybe picking one up as a gift for the gamer in your life, check out the description down below this video for some links that will take you over to the Ewin Racing site. After you've made your final selection, don't forget to use code ISUKIEN at checkout and make sure you get that 20% off of your entire purchase. All right, everybody, as always, starting our showcase video off this month, we're gonna check out our luckiest clue scrolls for the month of April, starting out with our third age submissions. The first one comes in from Group Iron Man Goose Gray. This is an unknown clue and an unknown clue KC because we can't see it, but it is a 1KC Mimic score, pulling in the third age axe. Huge chunk of change there for the group Iron Man. Hard casket number 299 for Dad Say One. Third age plate body worth 105 million. Hard casket number 151 for Iron Man Bet. Pulling in a third age coif. Oof. 8.7 million. Hard casket number 58. Third age range top for TW6. 41.6 mil on that valued clue. Hard casket number 14 for Gaia and Nola. Third age plate body for this one, 99 million. Hard casket number six for Meldrum, pulling in a third age plate skirt for 63 mil. Elite casket number 100, this one with the help of the Mimic, unknown KC, we can't see it, but also pulling in the third age axe with the Mimic. 450 million for Perfect Journey. Elite casket number 23, pulling in a third age longsword. Far cry from what it used to be worth. It actually used to be worth 1 billion GP, but now down to 423 million. This one for Nerdy Virgin. Elite casket number four, pulling in a third age full helmet, 23.6 mil on the value. And then elite casket number five, following up with a ring of nature for the Iron Man, a problem. Master casket number 83, third age bow, 878 million for Drenza. Master casket number 39 with a third age plate skirt, 62 million and then two Two clues earlier than that. Master Casket number 37 also pulled in a Bloodhound pet for Venusaur. Not bad at all. Master Casket number 22, Third Age Vambrises. Bigger oof. 6.7 million for Bodhi's Nan. Master Casket number 6, and on the Mimic KC number 1, pulling a Third Age Robe Top, 78 million for Day. That'll do it for the third age for this month. Next up is our other lucky clue scrolls. Starting this one off is going to be Lady Mary J on easy casket number two, pulling in a cape of skulls, 10.9 million. Next up is the group Iron Man Fenja, easy casket number one, pulling in team cape zero, 4.1 mil. Easy casket number one for hardcore Iron Man, Billy Spleet, pulling in a nice ham joint. Medium casket number 160 for the Iron Man Style Studio, pulling in a double Ranger Boots drop on the Iron account. Medium casket number three for Idux. We're just gonna say Idux. Ranger Boots for Idux. Medium casket number two for the group Iron Man Zerter, pulling in the Ranger Boots. And another medium casket number two for the group Iron Man Tosisin Ranger Boots. Hard casket, unknown count here. Sarah Doman and an Armadil Dehyde Top in the same clue. It's pretty rare to see two of them in the same clue. The Iron Man No Exchange. Elite Casket number eight for Divine RB. Gilded Plate Legs, 5.5 mil on the value. Master Casket number nine with a Robe Top 
Rope Bottom, and Gloves of Darkness all in one clue. Three items from the same set in one clue for Acid 2. Master Casket number 5 for Pink Eraser 28, pulling in the 1 in 1000 Bloodhound pet. And last is going to be I've Got Tits. Congratulations. Master Casket number 1, pulling in a nice Anguish Ornament Kit. Moving right along, we will now check out our luckiest PVM item drops. As always, we're going to start this out with our top 10s. 10kc Dragon Warhammer for Killjoy 3. 9kc Onyx from Zolra for Zozo Best. 9kc Inquisitor's Helm for Janny. 9kc Elijah Sigil for RS Mage. 9 and 11kc Riofita's Essence for Blade Edge 362. 7kc Primordial Crystal for Matt. 7kc Dragon Pickaxe from Callisto for the group Iron Man Oops OG. 7kc Armadil Chestplate for Thick Squats. 6kc Jar of Stone for the Iron Man J Nas. 5kc Magic Fang for Noob Noob for you. 5kc Solo Elijah Sigil for that slow TDI. Yes, they are slow. 5kc Black Tourmaline Core for the group Iron Man Tiki GIM. 4kc Twisted Bow in the challenge mode for Auto Bezor. 4kc Tanzanite Fang for Big Veiny Cox. Interesting. 4kc Armadil Crossbow for 3 IQ Garen. 3kc Twisted Bow for the Iron Man Kevzi. 3kc Pegasian Crystal for Urshiand. 3kc Dexterous Prayer Scroll for Deshay, 3kc Archer's Ring for the group Iron Man FWC, 2kc Zenite Shard for Giant Squid, 2kc Ceridoman Hilt for Jezza 8, 2kc Hydroclaw for Eat My Pasta, 2kc Enhanced Weapon Seed for I'm not going to say that name, 2kc Dragon Pickaxe from Vedion for Death Before DSNR, and 2kc Armadil Chainskirt for Gypsy Eris. Next up is our 1KC PVM item drops, 32 of them for this month, 32 1KC uniques. Zynes with a Primordial Crystal, Whipjack the Iron Man with a Treasonous Ring, Very Typical pulling in a 1KC Sleepy Tablet, followed by the back-to-back -back 2KC Inquisitor's Helm and 11KC Parasitic Egg, Tossed Zalad with a Berserker's Ring, Sunlink 101Z with an Odium Shard 3, Say What 7-7 with a Tanzanite Fang, Salinated with a Briophidus Essence, Rizix 561 with a Draconic Visage into the back-to-back -back Prince Black Dragon pet on 2KC. Pure Norsu with a KQ head. Plox Looter with a Bottomless Compost Bucket. Omsic CJ with a Zamorakian Spear. Noah Other GI, Group Iron Man with a Zamorakian Spear. Moun with a Jar of Souls. Libs Suck with a Kraken Tentacle. Kai Kel Turbo, Group Iron Man with an Imbued Heart. Istu with a Bandos Chestplate. Iron Blade 5, the GIM with a Black Tourmaline Core. High Wu with an Unsired, pulling in a Bludgeon Axon from that one. GIM Bofa with a Basilisk Jaw. Easy for you to NVIM with a Dragon Warhammer. Eisenal. Eisenanal. Ew. Enhanced Weapon Seed from the Corrupted Gauntlet. Dumb Iron Man, obviously the Iron Man, with an Abyssal Lantern. See you later with a Ring of Endurance. Butt Hug with an Armadale Chain Skirt. Brart G, the Iron Man, that sounds something foreign, I'm just a dumb American, I can't, I can't pronounce that. Avernic Defender Hilt with a back-to-back -back 5 and 6 KC, Avernic Defender Hilts, and an 8 KC one, that's pretty freaking nuts, man. Big Slong, Torva Plate Body. Bibim, with an Enhanced Weapon Seed from the Normal Gauntlet. Battle Iron Man, the group Iron Man with the Grazi Rapier. Bad and Evil, with an Enhanced Weapon Seed from the Corrupted Gauntlet. In a 1KC, or rather, first brimstone key, Dusk Mystic Robe Top for the Iron Man Gleeshi. Block, not the actual Block, but a imposter, so you could say, with a Nightmare Staff. Group Iron Man, G.I.M. Chico, with a Berserker's Ring. Next up is our back-to-back -back items, and what do y'all think about this? Would you rather have a 1KC drop, or a back-to-back -back drop? I can never figure out which one I'd rather have. First up is Thamescape I.M. with a Tanzanite Fang, 177-178 KC. Takis, the Iron Man, with a Bandos Chestplate on 1237, Tacits on 1238, and pull in another Chestplate at 1240. Sir Trey with a Parasitic Egg back-to-back, -back, 160 and 161 KC. Randy Gunk, the Iron Man, with a Smoldering Stone into the Primordial Crystal, 169 and 170 KC. Nakra Punk, Eternal Crystal into the Primordial Crystal, 1194 and 1195 KC. My Dean Galing, Hydroclaw into the Ickle Hydra, 20 KC and 21 KC. Kratos, the group Iron Man with Tanzanite Fang into a Magic Fang on 214 and 215 KC. J Stack Rips with a Smoldering Stone into the Primordial Crystal, 56 and 57 KC. 
Insane hit, pulling back-to-back -back neck slings. 23-33 and 23-34 KC. I2 swole with Primordial Crystal into a Jar of Souls, 755 and 756 KC. And last one is Heartstruck with a Bandos chest plate on the 517 KC minion rotation into another chest plate from the boss at 518 KC. Rounding out our luckiest PVM item drops are going to be some other lucky instances that don't fit into our previous categories. Zuck with a triple Barrows chest, Torag's helm, Torag's legs, and a Guthin plate, 11 KC. X Marlows with a smoldering stone from Hellhounds, 1 in 32,000 on that drop rate. UIM Charon, the ultimate Iron Man with a twisted bow, 28 KC. Tiki GIM with three Zenites and a monkey tail, just 137 KC. The Savage with a Crystal Armor Seed and an Enhanced Weapon Seed in the same drop, 425 KC. Tax Refund with a Solo Elijah Sigil at 100 KC. Spoon for Group, the Group Iron Man, with two Dragon Warhammers in 1005 KC. Pretty lucky there. Sir Gother with an Elijah Sigil on the Duo at 39 KC. Screenboy 22 with a Tanzanite Mutagen at just 22 KC. Racing Club with a Tanzanite Fang and an Uncut Onyx in the same drop. Party Pete with a double Tanzanite Fang at 2560KC. Olag with a 436KC Tebow, 438KC Elder Maul, almost pulling the back-to-back -back Mega Rares. Mr. Use Your Keys, the Iron Man with a completed bludgeon by just 61KC. Mega Mawil with a Primordial Crystal on 364, Hell Puppy at 382, a Primordial Crystal at 406 and 438, all in a span of 74 kills. Matt King Cole, the group Iron Man with two Berserker's Rings and a Dragon Axe in just 18 Dagonoth Rex kills. Luau with the Basilisk Jaw and a Curved Bone in the same kill. It's an Ultimate Iron Man account. Legend with a Serpentine Visage and an Onyx in the same drop, 707KC. Junko Smurf with a Jar of Dirt and a Kraken Tentacle, same drop, 915KC. I Turtle Pants, three Unsired's and 36KC, completing a Bludgeon. Very nice. H. Brive with the group Iron Man account, four Berserker's Rings, grabbing them for the squad in just 88 KC. It's pretty nice, a Berserker Ring every 22 kills. Gunner 64 with an Ancient Totem and an Ancient Effigy from the Revenant boss in the same kill. Grote Tics, group Iron Man, two Magic Fangs and a Serpentine Visage, all in 31 KC. Group Iron Man Can Sluice, six Armor Seeds and at one Weapon Seed in 11 Gauntlets and 41 Corrupted Gauntlets. Dry Cheezil, Group Iron Man with an Abyssal Dagger from Demons. This is also a 1 in 32,000 drop. Dead Felon, the Iron Man with an Elijah Sigil at 21 KC. Bill's Daddy, Group Iron Man with two Dragon Warhammers in just 903 KC. AZ1D3, rounding out our PVM item drops with Primordial Crystals on 3111, 3129, and 3136. Three of them in 25 kills. Moving right along in this month's video, we are going to move into our luckiest PVM pets. We're starting out with our top 25s. 25 KC Young left for Deshay. 25 KC Young left for the Iron Man Fee 99. 25 KC Nextling for Acid Arrow. 23 KC Noon Pet for the Iron Man RNG 91. 20 KC Hell Puppy for Micro Pens. 18 KC Pet Dark Core for Noodle Soups. 18 KC Omelette and an Ancestral Robe Top for No Rees, 17 KC Vorky for Bung Breezy, 14 KC Scorpius Offspring for Groovy XD, 14 KC Dagonoth Rex for the group Iron Man I Love Hangers, 12 KC Pet Kraken for SSG2 Gohan, 12 KC Abyssal Orphan, Wolf the Second Unsired for Hi Wu, 9 KC Vedion Jr. for Softening, 9 KC Noon for Iron Man J Naz, 8KC Young Lift from the Corrupted Gauntlet for Dante OC, 7KC Dagonoth Rex for Zad Prostat, 7KC Abyssal Orphan for the Iron Man My Iron Prod, 6KC Pet Smoke Devil for the Iron Man The Codfather, 5KC Venonata Spiderling for the group Iron Man Slay Plus 4, 4KC Vorky for the Iron Man B Ken, 4KC Vedion Jr. for Free Range Man, 3KC Prince Black Dragon for Sem Yu, 3KC Jad for Sem Yu, 3KC Jad for the Iron Man Turner Diary, 2KC Scorpius Offspring for What the Days, 2KC Pet Smoke Devil for 99 Roadman, 2KC Pet Dagonoth Prime for Sem Yu, that guy is nuts with pets, 2KC Jad Pet for Gypsy Eris. And for our luckiest of the luckiest PVM pet hunters, our 1KC pets, Melatonin Boy the Iron Man, pulling in the Zuck pet on the very first Inferno completion, Melatonin Boy the Iron Man with a little nightmare, 
Level 36 Zubat with a Chaos Elemental from the Chaos Elemental. Cuckoo Sue, Group Iron Man with a Pet Chaos Elemental from the Chaos Fanatic. That's the 1 in 1000 drop rate. I want to land with a Skodos. And our last one is Dummy, the Hardcore Iron Man with a Jad Pet. This one off task. And of course, we have some other lucky pet instances. These are usually combo drops or multi pets. First one is Lix. Three pets in one week, pulling the Young Lif on April 1st, a Vorky on April 3rd, and a Hell Puppy on April 7th. Lu Cuckoo with an Enhanced Weapon Seed and a Young Lif pet in the same kill, 965 KC. KLR 650 2017, pulling in the Hydra Heads and the pet in the same kill, 138 KC. Iron Adapter, grabbing two pets in the same day, Skodos and the Kraken pet, both of them on April 5th. Fee Archel, Young Lift and Enhanced Weapon Seed in the same drop, 257 Corrupted Gauntlet KC for that one. Easy for you to envy, 5 Cerberus Pets in 2714 KC, and here I am, almost 5,000 dry. Dude's pulling in 5 of them before the drop rate of 1. Chettables with a Jar of Chemicals and Ickle Hydra in the same drop. Bob's Insect, the Iron Man, I don't know if I said that right. Three Kraken Pets in 477 KC, one in 3,000 on those pet drop rates. And last but not least to round out our PVM pet section is Barbecue Killichem, pulling in third Callisto pet at just 258 KC. Next up is going to be our luckiest skilling pets, and I'm happy to announce we actually have a decent section for this this month. The last few months, it's been pretty barren in here. Starting this off is going to be Iron Man Luck Rejected at level 59 Hunter, pulling in that baby Chinchampa pet. Reach at 21 at level 59 Farming from a Maple Tree, grabbing the Tangle Root pet. Iron Man Berry Fee, 57 Agility over at the Falador Rooftop Course, pulling in the Giant Squirrel pet. Jack of Meow, Group Iron Man at 52 Mining, pulling in a nice mining pet. Group Iron Man Iron Bill 24 at level 49 Thieving over at the Fruit Stalls, grabbing the Rocky pet. Level 39 Agility at the Varrock Rooftop Course, the Hardcore Iron Man Oh No, grabbing a pet for themselves there. Level 32 Mining at the Motherload Mine for Zentech. 19 Mining at a Blurite Rock. That's one I've actually never seen before on these showcase videos. 1 in 740,000 for the odds there. This one for the group Iron Man Stron Tetter 28. Level 10 Woodcutting at just a normal tree. Iron Man Um Ghosty pulling that in. Level 10 Runecrafting at Air Runes, Group Iron Man, Iron Panetta, Level 9 Thieving from a Cake Stall, the Hardcore Iron Man Broken Hopes pulling in a Thieving Pet, and the next one, I did a little bit out of order because this is pretty nuts, at Level 33 Farming at the Seaweed Patches, the Group Iron Man AO Let's Go pulls out a Farming Pet, but that's not where they stop. Seven levels later, not that much XP, at Level 40, AO Let's Go pulls another Farming Pet from Seaweed. And the most impressive one here, level one woodcutting at a normal tree for the hardcore Iron Man solo Glorf. Like you literally just, just stop playing that account. Don't play the account, just leave it alone. Start a new one. You're not even that far in anyways. Just walk around at level three with a beaver pet with like 100 XP in woodcutting. Like, come on, that is ridiculous. Continuing on with our finally decent skilling pet section for this month, here's our KC drops. 40 KC Irby for Annie Yui. 31 KC Phoenix for the group hardcore Iron Man Gima Oten. 21 KC Abyssal Guardian for Me So Hungry. 17 KC Temporos Pet at only 50 reward permits for Wizdude 07. 17 KC Phoenix for Blade Edge 362. 11 KC Irby for Small Paul. 7 KC Abyssal Protector for Twinny. 6 KC Small Kano Pet for Barry McConker. Barry McCockner? <laughs> That's funny. 2KC Small Kano for the group Iron Man GIM White PP. Not as funny. 2KC Irby for Scuba Knot. 2KC Abyssal Protector rounding this section out for Less Vegetab. Bringing our April Showcase video to a close, we're going to check out some Lucky Collection Logs. This is my favorite section of every month. I love going through all these ones. Slaps Nuts at Armadillo God Wars Dungeon, pulling in two pets, a helm, two plates, two skirts, and a hilt, sub 150 KC, totaling 149 KC. Sir Dr. Wiggles at Zalra, pulling in one Magic Fang, three Serpentine Visages, and two Tanzanite Fangs, and just 270 Zalra kills. That's 45 kills per average drop. 
So and R at the Theater of Blood, three scythes on the iron account, 12 total drops in just 267 kill count. Rick Nasty at Armadillo God Wars Dungeon, completing the Armadillo armor set in just 31 kills. Redowan F at a Zamorak God Wars Dungeon, completing the log with two spears, two staffs, two hilts at just 207 kill count. Rat Strats at the Alchemical Hydra, pulling five claws in 1073 KC. Drop rate for one claw is one in 1001. Quantum Fi, the Iron Man at Wintertot, completing the log of 280 KC with the Phoenix in there. Peter Porker, Bandos God Wars Dungeon, pulling all the Bandos item drops, not the pet, in just 37 kill count. That's ridiculous. Portugalis at the Kraken, completing the log with five pets, five tentacles, and six tridents. Sub 3000 KC, 5, 2529 KC. Pidrix at Armadale God Wars Dungeon, completing the log with three chest plates, 697 kill count. No 26 man, the group Iron Man over at the Gauntlet, four enhanced weapon seeds in 23 gauntlets and 138 corrupted gauntlets. Nip Cuggets, the Iron Man at the Gauntlet as well, four enhanced weapon seeds in five gauntlets and 406 corrupted gauntlets. This dude is making nine mil or more an hour. Mr. Nasty Nate at Bandos God Wars Dungeon, pulling a plate, three tacits, and a boots, all in 113 KC. Mega Mawil at Cerberus, completing the log with three primordial crystals and no other dupes at just 511 kill count. Mikiolo Swaggy at the Grotesque Guardians, fully completed log, it's a 1 in 5,000 jar drop and a 1 in 3,000 pet drop, 396 KC. Maze of Iron, the group Iron Man at the Kraken, completing the log with two times pets, 525 KC. Master RNG at the Grotesque Guardians, completing this log at 754 KC. Lord Biao at the Kraken, completing this log, 447 kill count. Kill Phil 13 at Vorkath, only missing the pet with two skeletal visages at 341 KC. Iron Diablo at Barrows, only missing seven pieces for completion at 212 KC, averaging a drop every 9.6 runs. God of 2HPK at the Kraken, completing this log with only a duplicate tentacle, 412 KC. Flickin' Dicks at Abyssal Sire, 9 Unsireds, missing the Abyssal Head only at 365 KC. Feet 99 at the Gauntlet, completing this log with two enhanced weapon seeds, one regular Gauntlet, and only 95 corrupted Gauntlet completions. Detonator 176 at the Gauntlet, completing the log with 51 Gauntlet runs and 68 corrupted Gauntlet runs. Bollock at the Zamorak God Wars Dungeon, completing this log with four Staffs of the Dead, 20 Zamorakian Spears, 9 Steam Battle Staffs, 1,304 KC. Biggest Dickus, the Iron Man, at the Calphite Queen, only missing the Jar of Sand at just 49 KC. Behavior Die at Vedion, completing this log, 236 kill count. Beat the Kitty, the group Iron Man at the Gauntlet, completing the log in just one normal run and 70 Corrupted Gauntlet runs. Ape Doug at the Alchemical Hydra, completing the log with two pets at 690 KC. Aim 3x3 at Vorkath, pet, two skeletal visages, and two dragon bone necklaces at just 302 kill count. Five Incro at Cerberus, four unique drops, three primordial crystals, and one smoldering stone in only the first task of the account, 221 KC. And last but not least is five DY at the Gauntlet getting the pet and a crystal weapon seed and an enhanced weapon seed in just four gauntlets and 13 corrupted gauntlets. That is going to do it for this showcase video in the month of April. Remember, if you have something you would like to submit to the showcase series, send it to the email address on the screen right now. Check out the description below for the complete instructions. If you're looking for an Ewin Racing gaming chair or desk, remember to use code ASUKAYEN at checkout to get 20% off of your entire purchase. That is going to do it, guys. I will see you guys on the next one. Take it easy, everybody.